if I make it to the other side of cancer, I would do everything in my power to live the rest of my life, no matter how long it is or short it is, as meaningfully and joyously as possible. That was the promise I had made to myself when I was diagnosed with aggressive breast cancer in the week of my 34th birthday and didn't quite know if I would still be here in a few months time. So I did what I had to do to get through cancer. During that period of uncertainty and fear, one thing that kept me going was this promise that I had made to myself that if I make it to the other side of cancer, I would do everything in my power to live the rest of my life as meaningfully and joyously as possible. And then I did make it to the other side of cancer. Yes, a gift. I have never taken for granted because I understand and appreciate that not everybody who's touched by cancer really makes it out alive. So in my post-cancer life, the question that I was facing was, how am I going to keep the promise that I had made to myself? The promise of living joyfully and meaningfully? And in response to the question, one of the decisions that I took was to walk away from the corporate world as an employee and only focus on the work that brought me joy and meaning and I decided that I would set myself up as a coach because it enabled me to help people which meant more joy and meaning for me. So the next question was but as a coach you could possibly do a zillion things what are you going to focus on and that's when I tapped into the learning I had gleaned from this life-changing experience. One of the biggest lessons that I learned while going through cancer and surviving cancer is that we only have today. Tomorrow isn't promised. In fact, cancer or no cancer, nobody is promised tomorrow. We only have today. But living through this experience brought in a certain sense of urgency to get on with my life. But it wasn't just an average life that I wanted to get on with living. I wanted to get on with living my best possible life. And for me, that meant urgently grabbing today and going further. Being more and doing more to make the most of this gift called life. And as soon as I had that clarity, I said, ah, this is what I'm going to focus on as a coach. As a coach, I'm going to help people go further, faster. In a way that is meaningful and joyful to them. So that's exactly what I do now. I work with corporate leaders in consulting and I help them go further, faster in their careers. And the vehicle that I use is stories. So if you are a leader wanting to go further faster in your career in a way that is joyful and meaningful to you. Get in touch. Let's have a conversation.